Hi, hello, namaskar. I am Chinmay Mahapatra. I welcome you all to my new YouTube channel, Chinmay's Face Course. First of all, I would like to request all of you, please stay at home as much as possible. Please maintain proper hygiene and please follow government guidelines. In the span of last few months, our lives have drastically changed because of the corona pandemic. Everyone out there is suffering in some and some ways. Schools, colleges, universities are closed. So lakhs of students out there are in a state of limbo because they are not, they cannot study properly, they cannot sort out their subjects properly. So there is a deterioration in the psychological state of study. That's why I thought of starting this channel so that I can reach the students out there. Teaching is my passion. And I love physics. That's why I say, wow, it's physics. So let's discuss about what is physics. In this video, we will discuss everything point wise. So my first point is, what is physics? In a very simple language, I can say, physics is the most fundamental scientific discipline. As you all know, science is ever dynamic. There is no final theory in science. Every approach in science is open-minded. In fact, all the theories in science has to be updated whenever required so, as, so that they can be consistent with the experimental data. So this word physics has been originated from the word fuses. From the word Fuses, which means nature, which means nature. And the Sanskrit equivalent of this word is Bhautiki, is Bhautiki, which means the study of physical world, which means the study of physical world. So, as a whole, the main goal of physics is to learn how the universe behaves. It is just about asking the fundamental questions and trying to answer them with the experimentations and the observations. Just like, why am I here? Where have I originated from? How can the sun give so much of light and energy? Why there are the tides in the ocean? Why the universe is organized in the ways it is? So these are the questions we always attempt to answer. Can you focus on one thing? All these questions are related with one with nature. That means physics is the study of nature. So we can simply say physics is the science of nature. I know. Many students out there have a question in their mind that why there are so much of mathematics in the physics. The students who have a fear of mathematics, they also have a fear of physics. So, I will discuss with you the, uh, my second point. How are physics and mathematics related? So, in a very simple language I can say, mathematics is a language of physics. The combination of physics and mathematics is like the combination of bread and butter. One is the king, another one is the queen. The courses in physics reveal the mathematical beauty of the universe. Though the methods are mathematical, but the subject is physical or conceptual. Mathematics has served a lot in the development of the modern theoretical physics. The next question which again comes to your mind that must be we are so much scared of physics ma'am. What to do? Many students come to me and ask me the same question. Ma'am, physics is so hard. What can we do ma'am? Physics it makes us so much scary. What to do? So I have one example for all of you. Imagine there is a room which is closed. You don't know who are there inside the room or what is there inside the room. A group of people come 
to you and tell you that what is there inside the room and you suddenly get scared of that room immediately many more negative things come to your mind some started some starts thinking about there may be so much of reptiles and some students may think about oh there may be a ghost but again think about another group of people they they come to you and say what is there inside the room so immediately you will have a smile on your face and you will start thinking about the most beautiful things of the world that can that you can ever have in your life so the difference lies there can you get my point you the fear inside your mind is not for the subject physics the main reason is that the persons around the person around you is fearful that's why you have and you have unknowingly gotten into that thoughts but you know what this is the most pathetic thing one can ever do no doubt in physics there are a lot of concepts to understand but understanding physics is a matter of patience is a matter of being alert the more alert you are the more you will be able to understand the concepts always try and associate the concepts of physics with your real life events yes the charm of physics lies there itself physics is the most relatable subject with your daily life events that makes it fun i assure all of you once you realize that fun factor your fear for physics will run away whichever topic you take please go through it point wise try to understand the concepts try to understand what the topic wants to explain if you have any doubt then go through the topic again and again yes the answer lies within itself but even after attempting so many times you don't get your answer then your teachers are there your friends are there and i am always here for you okay so students promise me you will never let that fear control your mind and heart okay next point next we will come to what is the scope and excitement of physics why it is so much of exciting so physics has basically two disciplines one is microscopic and another one is one is microscopic so the macroscopic domain is basically known as classical physics and the microscopic domain is basically known as quantum physics classical physics deals with the studies at the laboratory skills terrestrial skills and even your astronomical skills but quantum physics deals with the studies at a very minor scales like atomic subatomic and nuclear levels in our daily life we basically come across some of the fundamental quantities like mass length time etc so i will give you some examples and you can yourself imagine what is the scope of physics see mass of an electron is of the order of 10 to the power minus 30 kg but at the same time mass of the universe is of the order of 10 to the power 55 kg see how mass varies similarly radius of a nucleus is of the order of 10 to the power minus 15 meter which is also known as fermi and radius of universe is of the order of 10 to the power 26 meter similarly time time taken by a light to cross the nuclear distance is of the order of 10 to the power minus 2 22 seconds but life of sun is approximately about 10 to the power 18 seconds so see how vast the scope of physics is the 
studies relating to the structure of atom and the radioactivity etc has already enabled the chemists to rearrange the atoms in the periodic table according to their atomic number the optical microscope discovered in physics has a wide range of application in testing biological samples x rays discovered in physics has got wide range of application in medical services similarly radio isotopes are uh, getting used in the treatment of cancer there are giant astronomical telescopes to observe the planets to meet the study of various heavenly bodies so as a whole i can say physics is uh, really awesome physics is with us around us everywhere always the present status of physics is due to the contributions of a lot number of physicists of the past and also of course the present also but i want to mention one thing the greatest scientists who have ever lived on earth was sir isaac newton once in his reply to a poet he said i do not know what i may appear to the world but for myself i seem to have been like a boy playing on the sea shore diverting every now and then finding a smoother pebble and a prettier shell than the ordinary one see where the greatness lies so my dear students this is only the beginning we will meet again and again with new new topics and discuss together many more topics but i want to promise all of you that my channel is not going to be an academic one we will discuss about many more scientific facts also many other scientific topics also till then please stay happy stay safe and may god bless all don't forget to watch like share and subscribe my youtube channel chinmay's physics thank you